What is going on guys? My name is Patrick aka Chief Pat and today bringing you guys a brand new mailbag video. Again, you guys can send me questions on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or the YouTube comment section using the hashtag AskPat. And if you ask a good question that is original, you could be featured in the next video. So first of all, let's start with, hey, it's Toto from Instagram who asked, Chief Pat, will the new defense be overpowering against golems? I actually think this is the whole entire point of the new defense, actually when talking to developers. The new defense is supposed to split up your troops so you can't just drop a bunch of these tanky units it's all on top of each other or else they're going to get blasted into pieces. So I think it's going to be really, really strong against golems, especially ones that are all clumped up together. No longer can you just drop seven golems and a ton of wizards and be able to two star bases because if you have four golems on top of each other and they all get hit by that same laser, they're going to be taken out in like half a second, just like you guys saw inside of those sneak peek videos. So I think def it's definitely going to be super strong against golems, especially since they take up so many house so much housing space. It's going to charge up the defense in like half a second. So definitely strong against golems we'll probably see a bunch of different variety in our attack strategies and we'll have to see what the new hero does and how it can counterbalance this new defense so next question on Twitter is from Caleb Windsor. He asks, when's the next My Little Pony Let's Play? I think my days of posting My Little Pony are over as well as any more bets on the single player maps. Don't really have any faith that any maps are coming out soon. Maybe it's the reason they're delaying this update so long though, but yeah. Only way I would post any more My Little Pony would have to be through some sort of bet. And uh, I don't know if I can cook up any good bets right now, but we'll see. Maybe it comes back in the future if I have a pretty confident bet that I can think of, but I was definitely burned on that last one so who knows if we'll ever see it again so Jules asked on Twitter, do you think we are going to be getting any new mines pumps in future updates? I actually don't think we're going to be getting new mines and pumps for Town Hall 11. And my reasoning behind that, not that we don't need more resources, because we're definitely going to need a lot of resources to upgrade everything there is at Town Hall 11. But currently, there's just so many mines and pumps around your base. It feels like there would just be too many if you added another set of mines and pumps for Town Hall 11. Literally half the outside of your base would just be mines and pumps. And I feel like it would get a little bit messy with having that money mines and pumps and same with storages if they added more storages for town hall 11 having five gold storage and five elixir storages just seems crazy and like way too much so i don't know about that one as well and then finally even for hero platforms if they add a third hero having a third hero platform inside of the base i think it's a little bit difficult to try to make that work and why i've always said they should have some sort of hero platform when this new hero comes out that has the king queen and whatever the new hero is on top of it and they can sort of make it cycle around or something like that i don't know i just feel like there's too many useless buildings around our bases including mines and pumps uh, when you're trying to defend and someone just gets like 20 percent by taking care of your mines and pumps at the outside so i don't think there will be but maybe there will who knows we'll just have to see what happens when the update comes out all right, so Arch Rivals 42 asks, do you think Supercell has messed up their handling of the newest update, showing Town Hall 11 and waiting too long for more sneak peeks? Yeah, I definitely think that this is way too long between communication as far as the update goes. Like waiting three weeks to say anything about the update or sneak peeks or giving any sort of info after building all of that hype up at ClashCon just seems like a little bit too long. And uh, if I know Supercell, that probably wasn't the plan to wait this long. Something must have happened to delay the update. Who knows what's going on? But three whole weeks not even hearing anything about the update is pretty crazy. And uh, hopefully we'll get the update sooner than later. But obviously, I feel like it would have been the best if the update came like out the week after ClashCon. But who knows what happened? Hopefully the update's on its way sometime soon. But uh, yeah, I guess sometimes things happen. And I guess Town Hall 11 is going to come no matter what. But it definitely should come sooner than later because waiting is awful. And uh, hopefully it's here soon. So final question from Justin on YouTube. He asks, now that Town Hall 11 is here, do you think they will increase the gold and elixir storages or discount Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10 upgrades? So I've sort of been balancing back and forth how I think they're going to handle the new update as far as prices go. I feel like they might add some sort of new level to the storages that already exist rather than add another set of storages. So maybe uh, storage level, what, 12 or 13? I forget which one it is. I think it's level 12 maybe adding another level for each storage to where they could all hold 500,000 more of each resource. So that would make your totals 10 million gold and 10 million elixir. And that would be like the final, I guess, most expensive upgrade you could do for Town Hall 11, even though that is a ton of resources to do for a single upgrade and sort of makes me sick to my stomach for those poor farmers that are going to farm it because I'm probably just going to jump it all on day one for my main account. But uh, yeah, they definitely 
uh, are going to have to do something about that, or they're just going to have to reduce the prices of every single upgrade at Town Hall 9 and 10. It would take a ton of rebalancing if they make, let's say, the most expensive upgrade at Town Hall 11, 8 million gold or 8 million elixir. That means they have to go all the way back through Town Hall 10, reduce the prices on almost everything. So I think they probably will increase it by 2 million gold and 2 million elixir, but if they don't, you're going to see a mad amount of scaling back of upgrades and probably a lot of angry people who are like, yeah, I just spent 8 million gold on my uh, on my expo upgrade yesterday and the update came out and now the 8 million gold expo upgrades only 5.5 million gold so we'll have to see what happens it's a pretty tricky thing there's a lot of tricky stuff around town hall 11 when it comes to balancing the game when it comes to balancing town hall 11 against town hall 10 there's a lot of really tough stuff and uh, it's definitely a reason i'm not a game developer so hopefully supercell can think of a good solution and it won't make everyone upset and in an uproar so yeah, that's pretty much it for this mailbag video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, you guys can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. All the links are in the description below using the hashtag AskPat, or you can just ask me a question inside of the YouTube comment section. That's gonna do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.